Hi everyone, I'm Miss Kathy and I'm Caroline Kirk's mommy and I'm gonna be teaching our Sunday school lesson today. I'm really glad that you guys are here and I'm looking forward to teaching everyone about Jesus and his love and acceptance of all of us. So let's start out with our song that we usually sing at the beginning of every lesson. It's God loves me, God loves me, God loves everyone and God loves me. God loves Christine, God loves Christine, God loves everyone and God loves Christine. God loves Henry, God loves Henry, God loves everyone and God loves Henry. God loves Evan, God loves Evan, God loves everyone and God loves Evan. God loves Celeste, God loves Celeste, God loves everyone and God loves Celeste. God loves Olivia. God loves Olivia. God loves everyone and God loves Olivia. God loves Elizabeth. God loves Elizabeth. God loves everyone and God loves Elizabeth. God loves Lachlan. God loves Lachlan. God loves everyone and God loves Lachlan. God loves Connolly. God loves Connolly. God loves everyone and God loves Connolly. God loves Gwen. God loves Gwen. God loves everyone and God loves Gwen. God loves Miles. God loves Miles. God loves everyone and God loves Miles. God loves Caroline. God loves Caroline. God loves everyone and God loves Caroline. God loves Adelaide. God loves Adelaide. God loves everyone and God loves Adelaide. God loves Charlotte. God loves Charlotte. God loves everyone and God loves Charlotte. God loves Grace. God loves Grace. God loves everyone and God loves Grace. God loves me, God loves me, God loves everyone and God loves me. So I know this is an interesting time of year, some snow, some rain, some sunshine, the days are getting longer. I'm very grateful for you guys to be here today and I'm hoping that we can resume in person Sunday school soon. So today we are going to tell the story of the four friends. Um, so in the Bible, the story we're going to tell starts, uh, starts like this. Jesus met many, many sick people when he was traveling from place to place. In one town, he was in somebody's house teaching people about God and other people in the town had heard that Jesus was a healer, meaning that he could help people get better. Ironically, I'm a doctor, so maybe I'm a healer too not in the same way as Jesus, who could heal everyone. Um, they were very excited when they found out that Jesus was nearby. Four of the townspeople had a friend who was paralyzed. So I'm going to use Olaf as our paralyzed friend. That means paralyzed means he can't move his arms and he can't move his legs on his own. You guys may know some people in the community who are either in wheelchairs or have walkers or use crutches to move and they might be paralyzed too. So for the sake of this story, Olaf is our friend who's paralyzed. The four friends knew that if they could just get their sick friend to Jesus, he would be healed, he would be fixed. They carried their friend on a stretcher. So here are our friends, our four friends. We have Elephant, we have Rainbow Bear, we have Shark, and we have Fox. So here they are doing their best to lift Olaf, to go find Jesus, to see if they can have Jesus heal their paralyzed friend, Olaf. What should we do? Asked the pink bear. Maybe we should just give up and go home. There's so many people there, they said. Meaning there were multiple people in the room with Jesus and there wasn't room for them to bring in Olaf who was paralyzed. And the other one said, perhaps I have an idea. Let's take our friend up to the roof of this home and we'll cut a hole in the roof and we'll drop in Olaf 
through the hole in the roof. And the second friend elephant says, let's try it. That sounds like a good idea. So they all climb up on the house. Mm, here's our house. They go to the top of the house and they cut a hole in the roof and using this rope, they slowly lower Olaf into the home. Um, everyone was surprised except for Jesus. Jesus knew that the man was paralyzed. He instinctively knew this man needs my help and he cannot move. Jesus also knew that sin hurts people more than sickness. You know, sin is when we as humans do things that we may not be so proud of or we may later regret. Um, so Jesus did an unusual thing. Jesus said to the man, friend, you are forgiven of your sins. The people in the room were confused and angry. They thought nobody could forgive sins except God. They didn't know that Jesus was God's son. Don't be angry, Jesus said. I am God's son, and God has given me the power to forgive sins. Again, the people were confused and surprised. They didn't know if Jesus was telling the truth. I am telling the truth, Jesus said. I can prove I am God's son. He turned to the paralyzed men and said, friend, stand up. The man stood up. He had been healed. Now the people were all amazed. The healed man thanked Jesus and carried his stretcher home with his four friends. So he was able to hold his stretcher and carry it home. So here's his stretcher and he's able to walk holding his stretcher. Unbelievable. Many people believed that Jesus was God's son and they praised God that very day. They knew that if they or their friends ever had a need, Jesus would be there to heal them, to forgive them, and to love them. So that story um, shows us a number of things. Number one, that a group of friends can help one another. And just because the story has four friends doesn't mean that there's any limit to the number of friends any of us can have. We can have 400 friends or 40 friends or one friend. Um, so think of all the ways that you and your friends can help one another. The other thing to know is that everyone can tell one another, their friends, about Jesus and his love and how he's inclusive and kind. And he makes sure that everybody is included and loved regardless of their faults or their differences. We're all very different. Um, we can tell one another about Jesus. The other thing to know is to always have faith. We always, what that means is even when things don't seem to be going our way, we should always remember that miracles do happen and sometimes things turn out in a way that you could never have imagined. Like paralyzed Olaf can now walk and he was able to carry his stretcher home. I don't think he anticipated that. So faith is the ability to think beyond the immediate situation and realize that things may turn out in a way that is better than we expected. We have hope and we have love. Um, so the other thing to know is that Let's see what else we can learn. What can we do to help people? Um, when someone is sick, what can we do? Maybe we bring them soup. Not in times of corona when we can't see them. Maybe we send them a gift. Maybe we call them on the phone and wish them a speedy recovery. Maybe we just make them a card and draw some pictures on it and that will make them feel better. Maybe we tell them the story of Jesus healing Olaf who was paralyzed. So these are things we can think about today in our story. Um, we also want to talk about when we sometimes as individuals say Olaf by himself, he may have felt hopeless when he was paralyzed. But what he didn't, um, when you're by yourself and you may not feel like you're in a good place, you have to remember you have all your friends, right? Elephant, 
bear, shark, and fox. Again, this story only has four friends, but any story can have multiple friends. So sometimes when things seem like they're too big for just you to handle, you call on all your friends to help you in ways that you couldn't have imagined, right? So next what we're gonna do is our coloring page. Do you guys have this coloring page? That's a picture of the friends lowering, in this case, their paralyzed friend, otherwise known as Olaf in this story, into Jesus's presence so he could heal him. So let us color this page. Okay. So things to remember on this Sunday morning are community, which we have. What does that mean? A lot of people together who love and support one another and help each other when we're in need. Healing, how Jesus was able to make someone better in a way that no one could have thought would have been possible. Um, faith and hope. When we're not sure something's going to happen, we can have hope and faith that there's a bigger power, God and Jesus, who love us always, regardless of what we do, regardless of our sins, regardless of our behaviors, we are always, always loved. Um, and last but not least, something that was told to me when I was your age, that there's no limit to the number of friends you can have, right? You can have more than four friends. Like I said, you could have 400, you could have one, you could have five, you could have 20. Um, and sometimes you'll notice that even though you didn't realize, you didn't think you may have liked someone in the beginning, in the end, you find out that you like something about them and that they're a kind, good person. And this is just another way that Jesus shows his love through all of us as humans, okay? So on that note, think about the four friends story and how you can spread Jesus's love with your family and friends today. So in closing, I'm going to sing this little light of mine. Can you join me? I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Thank you guys for joining me today. Look forward to seeing you again. All right, good morning, boys and girls. It's Sunday morning and it's time for Sunday School Songs. And today we're gonna sing two songs about Jesus and the Bible. And we're gonna start with the Bible. And it's a song where you have to spell. So I know you've done a lot of schoolwork, but this is an easy spelling. It's called a B-I-B-L-E, which spells Bible. And the word, I know you've sung this before, and the words are very easy. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. So let's try it. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, let's try it again. That was very good singing. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. One more time, we'll do it a little bit faster. Good spelling, very good. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Very, very good. Now, that leads us to Jesus Loves Me. And with Jesus Loves Me, we talk about the Bible in there, too. And the words, I know you know the words. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible, we don't have to spell it this time, the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me because the Bible tells me so. Okay, ready? ready. 
Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong, yes. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. B-I-B-L-E, remember that one? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Very, very good singing. So have a good Sunday school lesson today, because remember, Jesus loves you, because the Bible tells us so. Bye-bye now.